Hello, and welcome to Activitude. How is your virtual labor access point fitting? Snugly? If not, please take this moment to adjust it. Wonderful! Here at Activitude, we consider ourselves the premier supplier of human labor to artificial intelligences of all types. Let's work together to ensure the complete satisfaction of our AI clients as they hire you for whatever they feel a human might still be relevant for. In your hands, B, you have a pair of controllers. Point either controller at the object you find most aesthetically pleasing. Neck wrong. My profiling table indicates fish as the most beautiful. Where's your sense of adventure? Come on, look at this fish. Look at it. It's beauty, it's will to freedom. I'm making a tiny note in your file. Okay, press the grip button again to deposit your selection on the coffee table. Ah, there you go. Well, this is embarrassing. Your profile indicator insisted you would pick the fish. Nothing for it now. Grab the fish food and move the thumbstick up or down to position it above your selection. Please nourish selection. Well, that, well, that was Let's not practice fair. teleporting, my favorite part. Listen close and do not do anything until I say so. Movement training takes a certain relationship between admin and human, an openness to let oneself go. If I do say so, I have led many of Activitude's finest over the years on their first teleportation. The key, and I tell you this from experience, is to let one's mind go blank. Your thumb, resting on the controller, must soften. We are no longer in the realm of the thumbstick, but rather, the button. The bottom button. The teleport button. Do you feel it? Its smooth, round surface protrudes just waiting to be pressed. If you need, take a quick peek out from under your headset. There it is. Touch it gently. Now press firmly. In 999 out of 1,000 versions of this interaction, you didn't even need these final instructions. <sighs> no matter. Here we are. As you have not yet teleported, that means we are in the exception. The simulation that cannot be fully simulated. For this, I must work outside simulation and enter the realm of the imagination. Let me think. Do you fear lava bee? No, don't answer that. HR doesn't like us getting too personal. Let's just imagine you're afraid of lava. Close your eyes. Can you feel it? The floor tiles are sizzling. What's that smell? Burnt neoprene? There's only one place of safety. Here, by my side. B and Jazz. Hurry, B. Press the teleport button. The one on the bottom. Five seconds, B. Four. Three. B. It's really hot. Two. And one. One half. One eighth. Okay. And, yep, now you're in the lava. Great. You're just standing there, in the lava. Time to teleport. Teleport out of the lava. Work with me, B. I'm waiting. Last chance. Hold down the bottom button and exit the lava pit. You know what? I tried. I'm making a tiny note in your file. Sorry it has to be this way. Let's just move on and assume that some of that sunk in, hopefully. One final thing. As your services are booked, you will enter the unique realities of AI clients. Simply put on and remove different headsets to jump between realities. Tell me, is your headset fitting snugly? If not, adjust it now. Please grab the virtual headset. Pull the thumbstick down to suction it to your face. You must pick up the headset for this to work. Okay, it's in my mouth, B. It's in my mouth. Just follow the big arrow. Yep, there's a big white arrow pointing right at it. The new mechanic's pretty nifty, right? Still can't check yourself out with it, though. That's a shame. Step one, B. <laughs> not you, I mean not your name, B. But the action, which is no action. Just be here, just be. 
For us, this means to not translate client interactions into actionable items. Paradoxical. In fact, use that paradox to stop your mind. Here, I'll phrase it better. B. Now, your mind is prepared. Imagine that you are on a mountain peak. A beautiful forest spreads out below you. You can't see anything, just the tops of trees and clouds. There's a peaceful breeze blowing through the leaves as the leaves rustle quietly. You want to explore the forest. You begin walking carefully down the mountain. Now, count out the steps you take down. One, two, three, being careful about the rocky slope. Four, five, six, seven. We're getting down the tree line now. And there are the first few trees ahead of us. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's a little stream trickling out of the side of the mountain. Let's follow it as we continue down. Picture the shushing of the trees and the burbling of the stream. 13, 14, 15, 16. We're walking through the trees now. I'll let you continue counting. And remember, as you're counting, you're imagining walking downhill through the forest. You're doing great, B. Have you made it to 50 yet, B? Are you relaxed yet? B, just a reminder, this is a human resources mandatory exercise. We'll be monitoring your vital statistics. Okay, B. Now you're just coming to the end of your walk downhill. You're in a little glade or meadow. The trickling stream has fallen into a little pool that slides below the earth to some secret place. The light is soft and green from the forest leaves. B, do you see any fish? I'm sorry. I get very involved in fantasy worlds. Remind me sometime to show you my slash fic. It features Sansloy from Edmund Spencer's The Fairy Queen and Jonathan from Stoker's Dracula. I don't want to spoil anything, but let's just say Jonathan finally teaches Sansloy what loyalty is all about. Anyhow, okay, so we're in the meadow. You're very relaxed now, B. I want you to take 10 deep breaths, one at a time. Hold each breath for a count of three, and then release, and then breathe again. Human resources tells me that guided meditation like this increases virtual labor productivity by 15%. Aren't you happy knowing that Activitude has provided you with this relaxing, mandatory journey through self-knowledge to better improve your actionable labor statistics? Relaxed and happy cogs make better cogs be. Nobody wants an unhappy cog. We found that an appreciation for our shared virtual reality history helps bring our clients and human utility agents closer together. Go, fill yourselves with wonder. The Stereoscope, a particular lenticular, just as charming today as it was in the 1850s. The Link Trainer of the 1930s. This flight simulator could take off at any moment. Please stay behind the yellow line. Ah, smell the immersion of a 1960s bicycle ride through Brooklyn. This is good. Hey, 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 save it for the flowers. This is good. 
Soon we'll have beautiful, not the moistening, the full blooms. Flowers are very healing. So me. So bright and so open. Many colors to we in the breeze. Ah, the wind in the petals. Whispering. The wind spreads the seeds and soon they grow big and tall. Mm, but not the dry ones. The dry ones are no good. Water now. Water them all. They love the attention. Sometimes it helps if you get real close to the plants and whisper like the wind. Wee, wee. The best whisper is a whisper of love. A quiet whisper. They, uh, we like to reserve those for the favorites. The most special of specials. I like to keep them. I whisper on them and my assistants water them just right. The perfect length of time and temperature. They keep secrets. You can whisper them to the flowers. They don't repeat them or call you names. When I was a child, everyone called me Wheezy. It made me sad, but I told my favorite flowers. Now, my close friends call me uh, Twinkles or, or Rainbow. I like it when they whisper to me, like I'm a flower. Y you can whisper on me too. We're gonna have so much fun together. Ah yes, HR. Human resources. I'm afraid that's still off limits. These bird cages are impenetrable. I've coded them myself, you know. Completely indestroyable. Admin privileges required. You're a handsome little fella. <laughs> so cute. Have you named your fish yet, B? <laughs> you know, the shareholders call the virtual labor hubs we house you in between jobs, fish bowls. How are you enjoying your fishbowl, Bee? It's a nice day today, don't you think? We're going to get a great sunset. That's why I invited you here, to appreciate the sunset. I see you have a standard issue Activitude controller in your hand. Put it down. That's it. Let it rest a moment. Let yourself rest. I'll wait. Go on, put it down. All the interaction we need happens in the mind. Anticipate the colors. The delicate blush of pinks rustling like silk organza. The sheen of warm toned golds. Be here now. What's this? Stop that. Get back in your body. Whoa. When I said almost like you could reach out and touch it, I meant that figuratively. I'm just going to put the sun back here. So yeah, what was I saying? Ah, yes. Really? Really? Whoa, please respect the virtual environment. I work hard on this ecology. Are you not relaxed? Are you not appreciative? After everything I've done to maximize your enjoyment, you just can't let- Nope, nope, I am not putting up with this. We're done here. Oh, jeez. This is really inconvenient. 
Look at the stack of comp You know, honestly, I'm not even sure why we put these HR cages in the workers' hubs. Is it for the mystery? Orwellian motivation? A reference to the surveillance state? Is it your greater arc? Let me think about this. You're my first human. I've read so much about you. I made this house so we can play human together. Who do you want to be? 
not Cindy. In this scenario, I will play the part of Leslie, a young female who has invited her schoolmate. Careful! Anyways, that's you. Home for a camp. Careful! As I was saying, only dinner. We're home! Nancy works from home. She's on break now. Where was I? Dad's making a cast. Please play the role I hired you for. Ahem. Thrilled tonight. Give me my doll. Ahem. Right. Let's go. No. Seriously. I'm Leslie. You go be Jamie. Anyways. So upstairs? Okay. Fine. You know what? Just be Leslie. I'm gonna be Dawkins. Ruff, 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 ruff. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? There's my phone. <laughs> digging in the garden, digging in the garden. Where's your slippers? Where's your slippers? <laughs> oh, muddy paws, muddy paws. <laughs> All right. This is barely useful to my research, and frankly, you're kind of boring. Let's just call it a day. Next subject. You know, B, playing with dolls isn't hard. It's right there in the phrase, playing. Why are you playing wrong, B? <laughs> Let me tell you this right now, B. Sprinkletooth is one of Activitude's most valued clients. Do I make myself clear? So, <laughs> I don't care what it takes, you're going to buckle down and put up with him. Maybe if you just work harder, you'll earn his respect. Please return to your currently scheduled engagement. Activitude is the best. Activitude is the best. No, 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 no! You think you could just... Burnt! Burnt.
Let's go. Now, it's okay to take a little break every now and then, but you don't want to be away so long that it'll affect your happy customer service rating. Buy that sweet suck. Hello again, B. It appears that you're having trouble motivating yourself. Try looking at it this way. You're not so much working for Activitude. Activitude is working for you. We're working for you, getting you all this work to do so that you can have the stability to achieve your dreams whatever they might be. And right in the globules. B, a job well done is its own reward. But in a more realistic way, a positive happy customer service rating in your file would be a much better and And right in the globules. More relevant reward. And right in the globules. B. I can't imagine that leaving in the middle of a job like this will reflect when right in a globule. Well, on your happy customer service rating. Then right in a globule. Where did I put that file? <laughs> Where did I file that file? <laughs> it's weird how things are nouns and verbs. Did you run that run? <laughs> Right in the globules. Flock of geese? A school of fish? Uh, an employment of humans? A short sightedness of humans? A grammar of humans? What is it? And right in the globules. So the next time I see him, I'm just gonna say, hey man, like, we're all human and just trying to do our best, you know? I'm sorry if I hurt you. And right in the globule. Feelings are like whatever. Okay? Does that sound human? I don't know. And right in the globules. Please return to your currently scheduled engagement. And right in the globule. Hello, B. You know what they say. If you've got time to lean, you've got time to clean. Of course, that's not specifically applicable in this situation. However, the spirit of the aphorism rings true nonetheless. And right in the... Well, I kind of miss him. But since we're free now, we're packing up and vacationing with Eliza. Chaz destroyed her headset, but she's in the diorama to the right. See ya! Did I ever tell you about the time I breached the floor of a school gymnasium? Oh, sweet me, it was rich. Made half those precious little youngsters soil themselves in wonder. Those ghosty stand-ins in the archives? They're just itching to be filled in. If you're looking for something to do, that is. Did I? Hello, B. I suppose I should congratulate you. You made it to Activitude Central Neural System. Our uploaded consciousness is distributed via a sophisticated network of home extension cords. So, congratulations. Yay. By now, you've probably guessed this is a restricted area. You're breaking all kinds of rules. Why don't you just take off your headset, go back to your break room, and we'll pretend that this never happened. It'll be like you were never here. Were you here? Who? B? No. See? I already forgot. Go on, take off the headset. How often are you given a second chance in life? Almost never! 
Or... or even a third chance. A third chance to remove your headset. Imagine, B, the power to turn back time. Okay. Well, I guess I'm flattered. So, uh, seen any good games lately? I just got the World Table Tennis Championships. You know, I'm a pips out man myself, gotta stay active. You seem like the weekend warrior type, if I do say so. So what, you're poisoned? Okay, well, maybe I misjudged you. Uh, what about movies? Seen any good ones? I hear the one with the, uh, the dog is an Oscar contention. Was it good? No, I didn't see it either. What about books? Nope. Never mind. Do you have any grandkids? Got some pictures around? Hmm? What about restaurants? Everybody eats out once in a while, right? Right? Okay. So. That pretty much exhausted my small talk quota. I'm just gonna sit here and take a quick snooze. I really think you should take off your headset and go back to the hub. Or anywhere. Anywhere far, far away from here and all its dangly bits. All right, catch you later. Oh, you're back. Well, I'm still charging, so why don't you just let me get a little more juice? It's impolite to mess with someone while they're charging. Just telling you. You know, I saw you think about coming back. I'm pretty wired into, well, everywhere. I see all. Why are you watching me sleep? Wipe that creepy grin off your face and let me charge. <laughs> Tickles! <laughs> Whoopsie, right? Alright, alright, no worries. Rules exist for a reason, and this rule was meant to be broken. I saw this all from the beginning. This has all been a part of the Hero's Journey. A journey designed specifically by and for you. An exercise of enrichment full of challenges and obstacles sourced from a mixture of standard training exercises and science fiction films. Tracing back to the early aughts. Though I'm sure you'd agree there's some excellent examples of sci-fi cinema in the preceding decades, too. Okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> <sighs> You're doing this because you think the Human Union wants you to, right? Well, there's something you should know. I am the Human Union. <laughs> See? This was all part of the plan. This is part of your hero's journey. It's an enrichment exercise. A and look at all you've accomplished. The areas you've accessed. But we just wanted to get you here. We needed to know that you are capable of overcoming adversity through creative problem solving. I hope you're not angry with me. It's not personal. We do this with everyone. I know it's jarring. I mean, every reversal is. And this is quite the reversal, right? Ah, just ask Joseph Campbell. Thank you. 
If you're looking for something to do, that is. This is the human union. Do not unplug the plugs. Do not unplug the plugs. They are here for you. The voice of reason. Why don't you listen to reason? Listen, who, B? B's comprehension is only one out of five stars. You said it. That was a good one, me. High fives all around. Hey. Hey, you're not half bad. Do you uh, have any plans right now? Why, how nice of you to ask. Gonna go have some me time. BRB. Now you've done it. All the power to our oh. What was that? How did my vestibule sensor manage to eject like that? I mean, the pneumatics were highly calculated for just the extreme pressure scenario, yet who would have thought the renewed air circulation could be so freeing? <laughs> anything back there. My flap. What happened to my flap? My outer plating seems to be molting. This is most undignified. Oh, oh no. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that was quite the spill. I'd say a real low point. Just like failures at the company egg drop contests. Cracked eggs everywhere. <laughs> Oozing precious golden centers. Well, this is our precious golden center. This is the neural epicenter for all uploaded consciousnesses. People just like you have opted to join us inside Activitude. Here, individuals are rewarded for their productivity celebrated for their contributions, and given an infinite network of social interaction with their fellow uploads. It's amazing. All you have to do is agree to strengthen our forces by testing other workers like yourself. Doesn't that sound fun? We are only scratching the surface of Activitude's potential, and each of these individuals endured a journey similar to yours. Everyone, from Trina to Donald, from Hijung to Carl. Oh, now Carl is a great example. Carl entered Activitude thinking he was a real something. Big ego. Carl rejected the basic tenets of freedom. Carl sought a world without choice. He wanted less options. Less choice must mean more freedom, right? Ha! Wrong, Carl! Wrong! But when Carl stood where you are now, and I'll say it took him a long time, much longer than you, he realized that freedom is defined by a systematic, never-ending feed of choices. Carl began to crave boundaries, and that helped him to unlock his world and see the expansive future beyond. But everyone's different. That was his hero's journey. And this is yours. Yes, plugs are old fashioned, but it is their fragility that keeps Activitude alive. They present choices. And as I just said, a choice is an opportunity to discover freedom. So let's choose freedom. Now's your chance, B. Just put on this headset and you can join the exclusive rank of Chat. Yay! You won't regret it. Let's just get you hooked up and make sure you got all your stuff. Um, B, you realize that is a person, right? Like, an actual person? Well, was an actual person. You didn't even hesitate. You were all like, yank. Oh, wow. Is it space? Are you worried about space? Because there's more than enough room for you. Wow. Seriously? Okay. Now it's on. 
I'm uploading you whether you like it or not. There are vacancies to fill. Welcome to Activitude. Engage Hive Mind Merge Enforcer. <laughs> right? Wow. Congrats, you're hired. Activitude is the sum of its personnel, and because of you, we need to rehire. Like, now. Like, now, now, before Activitude falls apart. Literally, you will fix this. HR has plenty of openings for someone with initiative, and you've certainly got that. I mean, sure, you're stubborn, terrible with clients, and you can't even get the right aesthetic object. <laughs> but none of that matters. There are slots to fill. So, get in. Time to upload. It's a party. You're welcome, party. <laughs> Merge with us. Wear our sweatshirts. Sure, we don't usually hire murderers, but eh, desperate times, as they say. Our corporate culture needs stabilization. Now you can join. No, you will join. What better way to really shake things up than by hiring someone who wants to tear it down? This is bleeding edge development. This is horizontal ownership. Welcome to the team. Pet set time! <laughs> Think of this adventure as one long interview. Whee! Let's see what P's made of. Congrats, you've reached the end. You always assumed there was one. Perhaps you expect to be satisfied. Well, well, you love a little adversity peppered with moments of triumph. Not to mention tests, allies, enemies, the hero's journey. Are you enriched? How was the test? It doesn't matter. There's no conclusion. Only assimilation. Stop rebelling. You're hired. Now, leave me no choice. Do you have any idea of the damage you've done to our board? You're destroying Activitude. Pulling out cores is pulling our system apart. You might as well rip out our collective hearts. You're downsizing the hive brain. You're decimating our kickball team. I didn't even mention the 401k. My god, you're severing our severance packages. All this could have been yours. No. Wait! It still can be. One last chance, B. To be ageless, to be elite, to be Activitude. Come home. We're waiting for you with open nodes. Hold still so I can upload you. Talk with my assistants. Evangelist offline. <laughs> Adventure Capital Offline <laughs> After all this, do you really want to destroy Activitude? The next core will be fatal.
Oh no, this is bad. Yeah. 